Hmm. I'm thinking about using the power of, of Link um, to generate some, some random things. And um, yeah, I guess that um, that could be something. Um, let's have a string. We generate a random string. Um, at the beginning, it would be an empty string, of course. And then, um, what we want to do is we want to generate a, a random string containing uh, letters and numbers, so alphanumeric. Now, uh, a letter or a number uh, at its core, it is a character. So uh, characters are by default encoded. Uh, so this is why to each character uh, in the encoded version it corresponds a certain number. Uh, so theoretically when you try to transform a certain number to a character, uh, you can get that specific character that you are looking for. Now the encoding for, for, for numbers, um, you can have that here, it's something like that. So it's something that, that we would know in advance. Uh, that's for JavaScript, but it's exactly the same thing also for, for C Sharp, I guess. So we have to make sure that we uh, want to generate random numbers in the range from 48 uh, to 57, and then from 65 to, to 90, and from 97, 222 so if, if we generate random numbers uh, uh, in these ranges and if we then try to transform them to characters we will get the corresponding character for that number so what we can do here is generate random numbers that are in this range and then transform them uh, into a character um, and try to do this uh, you know well um, very random way um, okay let's um, enumerable uh, range let's uh, generate a range and here um, uh, we would like to generate uh, a range starting from 48 48 because this here is the first and 222 now let's see 122 divided or score it's minus uh, minus uh, 48 okay something went wrong Minus 48, 74, and seeing that it, this should be actually included, I would say we should go for 75. So we should generate a number uh, in range from 48 to 75. Uh, that's the general thing that we want to do, but we need to put some conditions here. So uh, we can have a where. Uh, let's also put a semicolon. Um, because we'll add probably other things. So then we have to specify the conditions that would uh, identify these ranges I get, I guess. So 48 to uh, 57, okay. So that would be that where, how would this be? Um, let's call it I, it's a higher number. So first of all, uh, I should be, uh, less than 58 because uh, yes less than 58 so this would be the last one 
Okay, or... Oh, where are you, pipe? Okay, or... Uh, I... So the next range that we want is... Between... Mm, 65, actually. So it should start So it should strictly be um, Greater than 64 I guess Because 64 Is this one so greater than it should be 65 and this should go until So this should definitely be smaller than 91, I guess, yeah. Okay, and I smaller than, what did I say? It was 91, I guess, Let's, let me check again, 91, yes, it's smaller than 91, okay. Okay, then we have to define the next range uh, of characters that uh, that would correspond to to characters, and uh, then this would be clearly the fact that I should be greater than ninety six, and the range will go till hundred and twenty two. However. So we can safely say that the next one is that I should be greater than 96. So that would uh, generate random numbers uh, starting from 48 and going uh, 75 uh, times, so till 122. Uh, but we set these conditions so that we make sure that we get only number uh, in ranges that we can transform safely in characters that represent only letters and numbers. So yeah, I guess that's that's okay. But then what I want to do is I I, I want to randomize the the order in which those the, those numbers are generated or after those numbers are generated. Uh, so what I would uh, do here is uh, I will say also an order by. But in this order by, uh, let's see, an O from order. What I will do is simply new random dot next. I will generate a random number and I will order uh, them according to. Uh, okay, but. A new random, sorry. Of course, it's like that. And now it should work. And then I want to make this a list. Uh, to list. Okay. And then I want to go for each number in this list. So it's for each. That should be like that. And while I go uh, through each of these numbers, um, I want to transform each number into a character and put this, put it in this random. Uh, what's the problem with for each? Uh, what don't? What's the problem with you? I guess I, sp I typed it correctly. Uh, probably I have to, yeah, I have to specify here. Uh, okay, so for each, uh, what I want to do for each one is a simply random uh, plus equals uh, and then convert to char 
and then we convert this i to a char. So we add it to the list. Um, and when we execute this, we should have a list uh, probably uh, with all numbers that are uh, in a totally random order because we ordered them uh, randomly here. And then we went uh, through this uh, through all these numbers and converted them to characters. So we would have right now uh, a string of 75 different characters uh, that correspond to numbers and letters. So the only thing that we need to do here is uh, to simply uh, take a substring of eight characters from, uh, from this 75. So this would be, we can already return that. So this would be something like our random dot substring and we can once again uh, use the random uh, to generate substrings each time uh, in a different way or starting at a different position so what we can see here is that all we can do is new random uh, dot next and in this next, we'll go to, from zero uh, to uh, random minus eight because we want the string to be uh, to be at least uh, we want this to be uh, at random dot length would be here. We want to be at least eight characters long, so that's why uh, when we generate this random, we start from zero, but we end, it should end at least eight characters before the end, be to, to be sure that we can still uh, uh, extract an eight character string from there, from the specific point. Uh, and then we have to specify uh, the second argument for the substring which would be uh, for how many uh, for how many uh, uh, how many characters from the string do we want uh, to take in that sub string from this specific place and we want to take eight and this would then simply return return this 